Analyst Cup playoffs can provide the unexpected and give the underdog a chance. Not in 2013. Two teams that deserve to be here, Sporting Kansas City and Real Salt Lake, or as the little cats like to call them, SKC and RSL. Sporting KC, they love to push the game, and that starts up top. So Paul, Wire, Zuzi, all pushing the game, pushing pressure, not always on the attack, but actually defending up high. Had an excellent playoff so far. Javier Morales pulls the strings in midfield, but this Salt Lake team has had their success built on a very strong defense. Five years since the days of Rice Eccles Stadium and Community America Ballpark. Now these are two model franchises for MLS. Both with new stadiums, both with young, hungry coaches and really strong fan bases. Benny Fail Harbour has really stepped up his game this postseason. Zussi's cross for Sapong! First big save of the game, Romando had to beat it away at the near post. Sapong rose majestically to meet it. But we've seen that back run cause problems for RSL in this first half. We saw Nagamura have a chance from Graham Zuzi, and then we see CJH Zapong get in between Schuler and Winger. And it comes from Wiggins. Jimmy Nielsen didn't get there, and it's turned towards goal by Finley off the line somehow. And Jimmy Nielsen is the most relieved man in the stadium. What an opportunity for Robbie Finley. I mean, this is deja vu all over from July. This is exactly how Robbie Finley scored at Real Salt Lake. Jimmy Nielsen came off his line and absolutely makes a meal out of this clearance. And thank goodness for his goalpost. Yep. Thought Sonoga could get off the line, but actually off the post. Plenty of available targets here. Sapong trying to make his run call in as well. It's far post, oh, and Charles Myers missed his header. He was open as well. There are Tony's far as Beasley, that's delightful. Flag is laid down, Dwyer! What a save from Romando. John Dwyer denied by Nick Romando. He'd stayed onside. Zuzzi's <laughs> delivery, oh, and CJ Sapong! Well, it fell for him. He had to turn sharply, and he blazed it over the bar. A really presentable opportunity for CJ Sapong. And Sporting KC had their chances on set pieces in the first half. I felt like Graham Zuzzi's service wasn't good enough. This was perfect. With, with pace right in front of Nick Romando, CJ Sapong has to do a better job of putting that shot on goal. Right in front of the cold run here in Kansas City. Agonizingly too high for the man who's scored twice in the postseason. This has been a much better start to this second half from Real Salt Lake. It's much more up tempo, isn't it? Keeping the ball on the ground as well. That little chip over the top is a decent one. Savarillo! Super Savarillo! Strikes for RSL! What a goal! from the Costa Rican, what a pass from Beckerman. Jason Kreis's side have the lead. A fucking goal, goal. And right on cue, Adrian, you just felt it this second half and you could see it from Real Salt Lake and there's so much talk about their midfield having more of an impact in this second half and it's come from Gill winning that ball. But how about this ball? from Kyle Beckerman. That is a great ball forward, and the all-time career goal scorer for Real Salt Lake buries it. Perfect first touch. Listen, there's been so much talk about Sabarillo, Sandoval, is Real Salt Lake better? That is why Sabarillo is in the lineup tonight, because one chance, one goal, great finish. Absolutely superb strike from the Costa Rican international who was talking about how much he was looking forward to playing England and Italy and Uruguay next summer. Really impressive displays to get here, and this is pretty impressive too. Thus far, Beckerman, chief amongst those impressive displays, and a deflected shot off the post! Gill's offside. That's going to be the end of the attack, but Beckerman, fire a deflection.
action. Agonizingly close to doubling RSL's lead. Well, and I want to know what Kyle Beckerman did in halftime in a game where it's 10 degrees out here. He's completely woken up in this game. He's completely changed this second half. Good call from the assistant referee, but Kyle Beckerman has been all over the place. Now then, Robbie Finley looking at power forge, Morales. Javier Morales! Oh, it's off the inside of the post. Jimmy Nielsen could only stand and watch as Javier Morales killed his shot to literally look like it was going in. Into this MLS Cup, Jason Kreis felt that Sporting KC tactically played very similar to the Portland Timbers. And that's when their fullbacks get forward. That leaves spaces wide open for Finland to use his speed and get in behind. And that man to find those spaces. Unbelievable chance for Javier Morales. The corner here. Susi. Collin! Equalizer! In front of the cauldron, Aurelian Collin breathes life back into Kansas City's title hopes. Sporting KC has come into this game and had their chances on set pieces. And that matchup right there of Colin and Schuler is what this game has been all about. And that is all Colin winning that matchup, that one-on-one -on -one battle in a perfectly placed header. Sporting KC is back into it. And what a finish from Colin. His third goal in the playoffs this season. Sporting Kansas City, the big French central defender. When he's going to look to throw this right in front of Robbie Finley and have Colin get on the end of it. Exactly where he put it. Oh, what a save! Susi with an instinctive half volley somehow. Romando tipping it over the top. And remarkable that this is the first shot on goal for Graham Susi in his playoff career and a huge save. How good is this save? Reaction real quick. That's a big time save from Nick Romando. Time and space for Nagabura. Biela awaiting. One in as well, but CJ Sapong scrambling to get on the end of it. He's done everything he could today to get the ball in the back of the net. He's made these runs, he's used his body, just been so strong. And just getting in these difficult spots. Still a good job, though, from Schuler to stay on the backside of Sapong and make that a little bit more difficult. He's a player about whom Peter Vermee says he still doesn't know how good he can become, CJ Sapong. Beasler. Grab a boy. Now Finley in quiet and extra time. It's a good cross though. Savarillo! He scored! Alvaro Savarillo, but it's offside. The flag is up. And Aracela denied a second goal. And it's the Kansas City fans who are celebrating, realizing what has happened. And Jason Christ is just looking at it with whether it's the goal post or being in an offside position. Great decision from the assistant referee. Great ball from Robbie Finley. But that goalpost, that assistant re referee has come in handy for Sporting KC and Jimmy Nielsen. And the penalty shootout. It's Biela against Romando. And Biela definitively rifles it into the back of the net. First blood, Kansas City. He's taken for RSL. This is Sabarillo against Nielsen. And he's missed. Nielsen didn't need to save it. Sabarillo putting it too high. Advantage, Kansas City. Nagamura. <laughs> sending Romano the wrong way. And sending, scoring Kansas City two goals to the goods. Desperately needs to score here to keep RSL in touch. Grab a ball. It's saved by Nielsen. 
Anderson. Kansas City edging closer. He's hitting it. He's last. Saved by Romando. Hope still for RSL. Now, Kyle Beckerman to give RSL some real hope. If he's successful, and he is. Pretty much went down the middle. Jimmy Nielsen away to his left. Harbour versus Romando. Jackpot for Benny Failharbour. High down the middle. And enough to beat Romando. Almost a, an angled approach. Plata! Wow. With some aplomb, too, into the roof of the nets. Can he deliver from 12 yards and deliver a trophy for Sporting Kansas City? He can't! Would you believe it? He's put it over the top. It was there for the taking. Morales to keep RSL in contention. Little stutter step. How cool was that? Sinovic left-footed against Romando. Sinovic! Sweet indeed for the cauldron. Sending Romando the wrong way. Chris Schuller against Nielsen. And this penalty kick shootout continues on. RSL. Zipong. And again. Cool as you like. It's an exquisite penalty taking in sudden death. Oh, and he put it in off the post. The narrowest of margins. Olam for Kansas City. Oh, he's missed. Despair for Lawrence Olam. Delight for the traveling RSL fans who now have a chance. To Christ, and could be a hero. Can he deliver the trophy for RSL? to the rescue now it's chance Myers <laughs> against Nick Romando Myers sending Romando the wrong way the two UCLA products also trying to make himself as large as possible in goal for Jones right down the middle and on we go trying to beat Romando Colin has done so a penalty. Lavelle Palmer to keep RSL alive. To deny Kansas City one more time. Can he do it? Palmer! He has it! And the trophy!